Practice acid base titration, top of page 21, talks about a commercially used method to peel potatoes by soaking them in a solution of sodium hydroxide for a short time, removing them from the base, NaOH, and spraying off the peel. The hours you save from having to peel potato potatoes in an industry type setting. Concentration of NaOH has to be in a range of three to six molar units. The NaOH is analyzed periodically. One such analysis, we had 45.7 mLs of a 0.5 molar sulfuric acid solution to neutralize 20 mLs of our NaOH solution. Let's determine the concentration of the base just to see if it falls within the acceptable range by the FDA. As any good chemist should, you start with the balanced equation. We have to start by writing the balanced equation. We have an H2 SO4 reacting with sodium hydroxide. We see the driving force and the salt that is produced Na2SO4. We can see when we go to balance our equation, this diprotic acid is going to need twice the number of base moles as compared to the acid. Two OHs and two H's balance to make the two waters. A 1 to 2 stoichiometric ratio is our acid base reaction. Let's tally what we know underneath each of the ingredients. It says that we are using 45.7 mLs of the sulfuric acid and its concentration is 0.5 molar. 20 mLs of the base was used what is its molarity? So we can see this is our given and this is what we want. And all our stoichiometry problems start with given and work towards the want. I like to start my problem by writing out the definition of molarity. We know that there's 0.5 moles of our sulfuric acid in every one liter of solution. So when I multiply by the volume in a liter unit, we can see how it would then cancel. Liters have canceled and you're at the mole. Here's the heart of our stoichiometry ratio. What do we want over given? We want to know the base. Its coefficient is a 2. We started from the moles of acid. Its coefficient is a 1. 2 over 1 is our stoichiometric ratio. And in our last step of the stoichiometry journey, we have a volume moles per liter, and I'll just set that under a 1, gives us our definition and we'll end up with molarity of NaOH. Let's hit that on our calculator and see what we get. Hit with me. 0.5 molar times 0.0457 liters times 2 divide by 0 0.02 and my calculator says 2.2, I'll round up, 2.29 molarity units. Are we within the acceptable range? Not quite. Where the acceptable range is 3 to 6, we have below the range of 3. This titration has shown that the base is not strong enough to remove the peel effectively. So off the industry would go and add more sodium hydroxide, making more concentrated and retitrate. 0.5 molar of the acid times the volume, volume 0.0457. The ratio of want over given divided by the volume in step 3, 0.02 liters, the 20 mils we measured out, and the base concentration ended up to be too low for the acceptable range of 3 to 6 molar units.